If you want to experience a Canadian city with a bit of French flair, then you need to visit Quebec City. Situated on the banks of the St. Lawrence River, this is a town with good looks and a big heart. We only had a day and a half there, but that was enough time to wander the cobbled streets, catch some street performances, and visit many of the top attractions. The following is a little video of our time in historic Quebec City. standing on the Plains of Abraham and this is the location where the battle between the English and the French was fought and this was a battle that ultimately determined the fate of North America. This battle was part of the Seven Years War and it would be the deciding factor over the fate of New France influencing the later creation of Canada. just finished visiting the Citadel and if you get the chance I would suggest you try to be here by 10 in the morning. That's when they have the changing of the guard ceremony and it's a lot of fun to watch. They even have a pet goat that takes part so it's really a lot of fun. The Citadel is the largest British fortress in North America. Right now we're visiting Chateau Frontenac, one of the most famous hotels in all of Canada, and it's a stunner. It's just absolutely beautiful. We're trying to capture it from different vantage points. The hotel was designed by American architect Bruce Price. It was one of many chateau-style hotels built for the Canadian Pacific Railway Company with the goal of promoting luxury tourism. Today, a night at the Frontenac starts at $379. So this boardwalk that we are currently standing on is called Terrace Dufferin and it's a great place for a stroll. You can catch some street performers, eat some ice cream and you also get great views of the river below. The promenade sits right outside the Chateau Frontenac and it is 425 meters in length. You can also catch a funicular nearby which takes you to the old lower town. Petit Champlain is a neighborhood located in the old lower town. It is quite picturesque, especially when viewed from the breakneck stairs. The narrow cobbled streets are lined with small shops and cafes. It's a really fun neighborhood to explore with a camera in hand. Car the Basilica Notre Dame de Quebec is the oldest church in the Americas north of Mexico. If you want to get a sneak peek at the crypt, you'll have to sign up for a guided tour. We are now walking along Rue St. Paul and this is a great place to browse for antiques and even buy some souvenirs. Just don't leave your visit to the end of the day because you may find that a lot of the shops have closed. The Museum of Civilization is a great place to learn about the Aboriginal peoples of Quebec. We're here now in the port area. This is a great place to take a ferry. A lot of people come here to exercise, to fish, just to enjoy the views of the St. Lawrence River. It's a really relaxing place. The Port of Quebec is the oldest in all of Canada, and it played an important role in developing the region. Today you'll find that cruises have replaced much of the former freight traffic.
And lastly, you can't come to Quebec City and not catch a street performance. The city celebrates its performers and you'll often find acts taking place in the town square and parks. Grab a seat for some live entertainment and don't forget to leave a tip at the end. And that concludes our brief but very enjoyable trip to Quebec City. We hope that you enjoyed this video and that it will help inspire your Canadian travels. which means everyone is out embracing the cold and embracing the winter fun. something I've wanted to do for years. We're going dog sledding! Woo! Woo! Go puppies, go! Go! Do it! Go puppies! Woo! Good puppies! Come on puppies! <laughs> we are doing ice fishing. We're going to be catching our lunch today. Ready to fish? I'm ready. I've got my bait. I've got my fishing rod. Let's do this. <laughs> they ate your bait. Oh, so they ate it and didn't come up. Oh, let's go get some more. That's not very good fishing. I know. That's really bad fishing. Okay, round right, two. Take two. Let's find it. Let's get ourselves a fish. Oh, oh, oh. oh, we have a fish and I feel kind of bad. Oh. Okay, we got one. Oh. I know I eat fish, but I feel a little guilty right now. Now it's time to cook it. Lunch right here. <laughs> Warming up. <laughs> here is our catch of the day. It's a big reveal. See the steam coming off. Ooh, that smells really nice. I know, I think they put seasonings on it. Oh, yeah. That looks good. Grab it. Oh, I can't see. <laughs> it's smells going in my eyes. Alright, first okay. bite. Mmm. How is it? Mm, that's amazing. Can you look at the camera? It's still moving though. They put some onions and spices inside and a little bit of butter. <laughs> it's really good. Sleigh ride for two.
right now we are getting ready to go inside Bonhomme's Ice Palace. Let's go visit him. I even once went to Mexico. It's a little bit warm. <laughs> when I got there, I was about eight feet as I am usually, and when I came back, I was five foot four. <laughs> I melted a little bit. Oh. <laughs> Is that a video? Oh yeah. Oh, oh, let's see something. Yeah, see something video. memorable. Audrey. Audrey. <laughs> And your friend? Kingston, right? Yes. Okay. Come on, my friends from Kingston. I'm with Juan Audrey right now. And we invite you to come to the biggest winter carnival in the world in Quebec City. I love you all and wish you a joyeux carnival! I love you all and wish you a joyeux carnival! Bravo! Time for a beaver tail. Looks like a few other people had the same idea. They have a Reese's Pieces beaver tail. I think that's the one I'm getting. What do we have here? Reese's Pieces Beaver Tail with chocolate and peanut butter and a hot chocolate because I really need to warm up. Show me that Reese's Pieces Beaver Tail. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. I wish I could capture the smell on video. All right, let's take a big bite of that. And? Let's sit in the spot right now. That's really good. Unfortunately, all things come to an end. We've had an absolutely marvelous day out here at the carnival. It's been so memorable. Now it's time to go home and warm up. Faster horses, faster! And how's the Ice Princess this morning? doing very well. This morning we are heading into the old city. We're going to do a bit of a walking tour on our own. So let's head into town and check it out. We are about to enter the old city.
real benefits to waking up early on a Sunday morning. We've practically got the old part of the city to ourselves. And what a different feel. In the summer it had a totally different vibe and now in the winter it's like an entirely new city to explore. So I just noticed there's railings all along the street and I think it's because it's so steep and it gets so icy in the winter time that if they didn't have these babies, people would just be sliding all the way down. Well, we've been sliding a lot anyways. Yeah. being here in the winter because even though it's February it still feels like Christmas never left like we still have the Christmas tree Christmas lights lots of red so it feels very festive yeah, absolutely a little place where to warm up there's a little outdoor fireplace it's our own personal fireplace and we really need it after all that walking put your legs out by the fire oh. it's a dragon it's a snow <laughs> dragon a fire breathing dragon <laughs> <laughs> All right, it is time to warm up. Let's go for a hot chocolate and maybe even a cupcake. Yum, yum, lead the way. How's that hot chocolate? Mm, that is so good after that really, really cold walk. All right, it's time to lick your lips. You've got cream all over your face. There you go. That's some kind of classic Canadian food here. We've got Nanaimo bars. Audrey's digging in. Very Canadian. Let's have that first bite. Mm. Sweet enough for you? Such a nice breakfast. And I've got fudge and bonhomme de carnaval. And this guy's been really nice to me, but unfortunately I'm going to have to take a bite out of his head. Sorry, bonhomme. Does he taste good? He does. <laughs> over there. And the last indulgence of the day, we've got pure maple sugar fudge. I'm not surprised you would go for that. You're always looking for fudge wherever we go. I don't have anything to say. It's just <laughs> pure bliss. ice canoeing out in the St. Lawrence with those massive chunks of ice. It was just one of the craziest things we've ever done. We can't wait to show you that video as well. So now we are working our way up to Le Chateau Frontenac. That means climbing a lot of steps. I'm already out of breath. We still have a few more to go. Lead the way. Steep and slippery over here. I almost feel like I could go snowboarding. Do it, do it.
That concludes our walking tour of Old Quebec. Now we're going to head back to our hotel, warm up a little bit and get ready to do some more exploring in the afternoon. in a winter wonderland today, also known as the Ice Hotel here in Quebec City. Let me take you in. You can have a seat while you wait to be checked in. of time. This is where you come to warm up right before going to bed. Okay. Uh, or when you need to pee. Looks like a sauna in there. the grand slide if you don't fall down first we're going to enter the bar and drinking glasses made of ice Vodka cranberries. Mm. And my lips didn't get stuck because they prepare the ice a very special way. I couldn't tell you how, but it's a special way. Cheers! Cheers! Salute! Chamber. I slept here two weeks ago. Yeah, and then what happened? I've survived. <laughs> I'm alive. Hey, you're here. You're giving and us a well. tour. <laughs> so basically, like I told my husband, I looked like a beached whale. Okay? Because you're in your sleeping bag, except, first of all, you go in the saunas, you go in the spas to warm up. And then afterwards, you go inside. There's a whole section to our indoor pavilion reserved completely only for our room night guests, where they have locker rooms, lockers for their stuff, etc. So once you're done with the spa and the sauna, you go inside, you dry off, and then you put on what you're going to need to sleep. And it's basically a little spandex thing, or it has to be artificial, like uh, fleece. It has to be artificial, uh, not artificial, but synthetic fibers, okay? okay? Nothing cotton. So no white socks. 
like I'm wearing right now. Um, basically, you then come into your room. Room access is from 9 p.m. to 9 a.m. We don't give out rooms at, we don't do early check-ins or late check-outs, okay? Because we have visitors. All of our clients have to mingle well throughout. So basically, you arrive in your room, there are two candles or the fireplace going, and it's to take the humidity out. The fireplace, obviously, there's no heat. We would have a meltdown, okay? The sleeping bags are in huge pouches, and they're thermal sleeping bags. You're basically looking like a mummy, okay? Then you get on the bed. This is the fun part. You get on the bed, you get into your liner of your sleeping bag, and then you get in the sleeping bag, and then they tell you, you have to change your pair of socks. You're like, really? I'm mummified in this thing, and you're standing, and you're like this. So basically, I went down. I then put changed my socks while you're in the sleeping bag. Therefore, there's absolutely no humidity. And then you mummify yourself. You're all zipped up. This was me. Yeah. This was my husband. Okay. Um, it's true. My husband, I could only see his nose. I'm like, man, you snore. Zip that thing back up. And it didn't work. If you're all quiet, there's no sound. It is phenomenal to sleep here. You go to bed around midnight, and then you, we wake up people at 8 o'clock in the morning because you're sleeping that much. Now you're going to say, Marjo, what about the 3 a.m. pee pee? Well, it does happen. We all have to go sometimes. And now you're entering in my private bubble. But at 5.30 in the morning, I got to go pee. Whether, whether I'm in Vancouver, whether I'm in Quebec City, 5.30, my alarm clock goes. So my husband and I, we had said, whoever wakes up at night who needs to go pee, wakes the other up saying, honey, do you want to come with me to the bathroom? So when I woke my husband up at 5.30, he's like, I don't think so. You're going alone. The only iffy part is the three seconds you put your boots back on. That's the only thing that was cold because you're leaving it outside. You don't put anything on the ice. I didn't put my glasses on the ice because it would go in, literally. Okay, you put everything in your boots or in the pouch. So basically in your sleeping bag pouch. Your coat, you open it up, you put it on the bed and then you're sleeping on top. So it gets your body heat. Inside your thermal sleeping bag, it goes up to 24 degrees. At one point during the night, I unzipped everything. I, went, I needed to breathe. I really, it's a good thing there are showers here that in the morning. That could also be a sign of hypothermia, you know. No, but it, no, no, but it was really, everybody, you're really hot. The minute yeah. you unzip, you see the vapor coming out, okay? Yeah. It is a sleep that you can't have anywhere else. The oxygen that you're breathing in is phenomenal. And we couldn't leave without checking out the Maple Sugar Shack. You lead the way! Well, I didn't come away empty-handed. Check out this, I got two different maple syrup products. All dressed and ready to go? Oh yeah! So you look a little bit ridiculous. I, I feel like a robot. And you look like a robot. But these are actually our outfits to go ice canoeing. So we've got special socks, special boots, and hockey pads. I'm so excited to try ice canoeing. This is as Canadian as it gets. So you can, these are large, medium, small. Uh... <laughs> Can you stand up for uh, just a couple of seconds? Put, put, your, put your feet like this, like, like that, on, 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 the, on the toe. Right. Yeah, so, uh, all the so we have a super exciting morning today. We are out here in Quebec City and we are going to be going ice canoeing. All geared up. Have to see it in the snow, but we're going to be hitting the ice soon.
actually survived ice canoeing on the St. Lawrence River. If you can have a look behind me, you'll be able to see what exactly we were trying to canoe in. I mean, it's a combination of ice, a bit of water, chunks of icebergs. It's crazy. <laughs> One of the most exciting events of Quebec's Winter Carnival was the Ice Canoe Race. This event is exactly what it sounds like. Teams hit the frigid waters of the St. Lawrence River with their canoes and race through a mix of ice, slush and water. Originally a means of winter transport, ice canoeing has become a sport for the bold and brave. Having had the chance to try this ourselves, we had some serious respect for the teams competing. Here is a look at this legendary event. Everyone's out, we're all bundled up. Let's get this party started.
Oh, <laughs> 